Hello, I'm Beyonce. Welcome to my behind the scenes guide to the making of my wax figure. When the guys of Madame Tussauds asked me if I'd like to be immortalized in wax, I was very excited. So how did they do it? Well, first we have to do a sitting. A team of sculptors flew over from London to meet up with me on the ladies' first tour. We got the pose sorted out pretty quickly, and then it was time to be measured. The sculptors worked fast. I could tell they had done this zillions of times before. They used calipers to make most of my measurements, like the distance from the tip of my chin to the top of my cheekbone. All in all, they took about 200 measurements, and each one was marked into a special chart. Next came the fun bit. They brought out a box of eyes so we could choose the closest color to match mine. The eyes for my figures would all be specially handmade, matching the color of the whites and the iris perfectly. My makeup artist was there to consult over the exact makeup look for my figures, so the coloring artist back at the studios would be able to create the perfect match. Finally, the hair. They brought along a selection of various color samples for us to use all the different tones that would be blended together for my wax figures. And back in London, the sculptors got to work. First, they built a metal armature like a skeleton to support the weight of the clay. The head has to be detachable from the body so they can both be worked at the same time. Next, it was time for me to be molded. A special plaster mold is made of the clay head. It's made in 13 pieces so it can be removed from the clay and put back together again like a jigsaw puzzle, but this time without the clay head inside. Then the melted wax is poured in and left to set and the result is a hollow wax cast of my head. The body is cast in fiberglass, so it's really durable. Next thing that happens is the eyes and teeth are fitted, and then it's off for hair insertion. You know these guys insert all the hairs one by one into the wax heads? Wow, now that's patience. Then they cut and style the hair so it looks perfect. And then, every girl's favorite part, it's time for makeup. The coloring artist used special oil-based paints to build up the color and add all the details, not forgetting added the eyelashes and inserting the eyebrows. Once the fiberglass body has been colored, it's time to put all the parts together and dress and accessorize the figure. So there you have it, the whole process. Thanks guys, you did a great job. I hope you enjoyed watching this behind the scenes guide to the making of my Madame Tussauds wax figures.